how much of this AI uh, dangler that we're all kind of, you know, be getting used to or getting thrust into our face has actually made a difference in terms of your real-time uh, marketing function? I'd say a lot of people, the, the uptake on uh, large language models in generative AI, which is basically type in a word in English, chat GPT equivalent, the uptake of that from consumers is much higher than it is for businesses today because you're still evaluating not just what efficiency it can deliver, but also the risks, which for any brand or any business is very, very paramount. People are still kind of uh, careful about it. Uh, you would be careful in terms of exposing your brand to all your target customer, unless you, I think what Richie has said, you know, do a sandbox, be 110% sure that whatever is going out, through the engine is fairly kind of a cool through. So I think that's that's something which is still under works. Uh, but as a as as a marketing team, I think that's what we are doing in. I think of true as as uh, my friend said that you have to look at it a bit of caution. You need to take it uh, with a pinch of salt, and you have to use it in two three parameters. One is you definitely have to have a data scientist as a CM in your team. You need to have a research guy who understands the whole ecosystem. And it also depends from brands to brands. 